praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name, the Lord's be, name be praised. Praise ye the Lord. Now, once again, welcome to the Super Champions, our being streamed live from the Holy School Cathedral of the Jesus Cabot Ministries, formerly Jesus Glory Ministries. Cabot being the Hebrew word for the total glory of God, which also includes the Shekinah glory of the Lord. And we've been telling in this particular series about the things of God versus the God of the things. Which one of these do you worship? We came to meet everything in this world, visible and invisible, in the heavens and on earth. Surrounding around us is our environment, everything in the rivers, in the waters, in the seas, everything on land, the vegetation. We see the mineral resources. We see things God has made, which human beings also have processed and become jewelry. We've made them into cars and jet planes and turned some into buildings in which we dwell in. Many other things we talk about, ornaments in the body and clothings. Do we worship these things? What happened to the gift and calling that God has placed upon our life? He has called us into ministry as preachers, called into ministry of faith. He has endowed us with natural talents as well. He has enabled us to be educated so that we will hone or refine and purify our gifts and calling and natural talent that is given to us. Are these given to us by God for us to worship them? What about the celestial bodies, things in the skies? the planets, the moon, the stars, as well as the beasts of the land and the creatures in the waters. Do we worship these things? What about us human beings? Do we worship one another? Did God give us these things in order for us to turn his glory into this abominable, detestable thing? He has told us he will share his glory with no one. Neither will he give his praise to idols. Remember that. You are not to be worshipped, and you are not to worship any other man, and you are not to worship any other spirit. No true angel of God will allow you to worship him. If there, you see any spirit or any power in the sea, in the sky, and tells you to worship him, know that it's a fallen angel, it's a demon, a devil, headed by Satan, the rebellious angel, Lucifer, who became Satan, Shatan. He appears, he wanted the worship of God to himself. That's why he rebelled in heaven above. And he so continues to do so on earth. To deceive us men who are ignorant. He gives you power. He gives you every kind of influence. Not that he gives you all the power and authority and the monies and influence you get came from God. John James chapter 1, 17, 18 tells us all good and perfect gifts on earth come from the Father of light above. The, the reason why we are not able to lay hold on this is that Satan and his devils actively oppose us from having it. When you sell your soul to them, like he told Jesus Christ, you bow your knees to them, he will show you the glories of this world. He will give it to you, the shining light. He has given it to people in the entertainment industry, film, singing, and the likes. He's given it to politicians. He's given it to religious people, religious leaders. We've been following and people in business. When you join these secret societies and you are involved in this black covenant, then he will, he will stop opposing you because he knows you are already bought and you are meant for destruction. Then you see that things will be happening and you think the, the, the spirit or deity so-called you join is the one helping you. He has been opposing you from time immemorial. He just will open a door for you to enter. But those who are actively following the God of the Bible, the Bible says if you live godly in Christ, you face persecution. And Paul said with much tribulation, we enter into the kingdom of God. Because he knows those who have God has redeemed them from the hand of Satan through Christ Jesus. And no more under his control. So he, he opposes it. He will persecute. He will do everything. Lie about you. He will confiscate. He will cause men to confiscate your property and your goods. And even kill you. 
But Paul says, absent from the body is present with the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord you are worshiping, the Lord Jesus Christ says, I'm the Alpha and Omega. The ever living one who was dead, behold, I'm alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and hell. He is the resurrection and the life. You should trust him. He has overcome the devil. He has overcome sin and death and the grave. Say amen to that. Amen. Now today's topic will be worship is due him only. Worship. Worship means worthy. Worthy. He only is worthy of our obeisance. Worthy of our loyalty. Worthy of our honor, deep reverence. And also what? Lying down, raising a hand, and serving him. So what we do, we should do it heartily as unto the Lord, and not to men or devils. Let's first look at the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We've read already Exodus 20, where he demands that we will serve him only and not build an image or anything of that like of things above. So Exodus 20 from verse 1 we read, which he repeats in Deuteronomy chapter 5, 6 to 7. But today we are going to read Psalm 148 from verse 1. Then we'll read Psalm 29 to verse 1 and 2. So let's read Psalm 148 from verse 1. It says, Praise the Lord. Here the Lord is Yahweh. Praise Yahweh or Yah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his heavenly hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all you shining stars. The sun and moon you are worshipping are supposed to worship Elohim, the creator of heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The stars you are worshipping different mirrors of stars are supposed to be themselves to worship this creator god praise him you highest heavens and you do astral projection and you say you are 32 33 degree whatever it is the degree god lives beyond the degree that you have reached do you understand he lives in the third heavens he lives in what quantum faces called metacosm you where did you go you went to the macrocosm, apart from the micro, macro one which is here. Your 32, 33 degree does not make you anything. Ascended master, no. He said, and you waters above the skies, the cloud are to praise him. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for at his command they were created. And he established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that would never pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all Asian dead. You worship mermaids in the sea. <laughs> they are to worship God. Lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind that do his bidding. You see, he sends all these things. But then you worship the God of thunder and, and the sun god Ra, the Egyptian god. These are things you worship. I mean Ra. You mantis and all his fruit trees and all that, and you build groves and you build uh, uh, various temples on the height of mountains and worshiping wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds. What is your totem? Flying birds. Those are things you pay homage to and obey us to. Kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and women, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. And he has raised up for his people a home, a strength, authority, the praise of all his faithful servants of Israel, the people close to his side. Praise the Lord. <laughs> that is it. I've read Psalm 148. Now let's look at the other Psalm that I said we should look at. That's Psalm 29 verse 1 and 2. We are dealing with the Father. Worship is to Him alone. Because we'll be dealing with the things of God versus the God of the things. Which one do you worship? It says, Ascribe to Yahweh, Jehovah. 
you heavily beans don't worship those heavenly beings they themselves are to ascribe to the lord ascribe to the lord glory and strength ascribe to the lord the glory due his name worship the lord in the splendor of his holiness all worship are due him alone say amen, amen. say i will worship the lord i will worship, worship the lord i worship the god of abraham i worship the god of abraham isaac and jacob isaac and jacob the holy one of israel the holy one of and israel. him alone and him alone will i worship will i worship and pay my homage and pay my homage and obey sons and obey sons unto unto i will serve him i will serve him and give him my heart and give him my heart forever and ever forever and ever whatever i do on earth whatever i do on earth whether in word whether in word or in deed or in deed i'll do it i do it for his glory for his glory and his honor and his honor and his praise and his praise. alone alone that's what is most important Secondly, as we read the Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 8, I would love us to read the Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 8, which Jesus also talks about in Mark chapter 12, 28 to 34, Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 8. And it is with whom are we to give our affection to? All these things that we are doing on earth, you will be born of different tribes, different races, different ethnic groups. The Bible says here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. That's Yahweh. Love Jehovah your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your heart. These are to be in your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Let it be on your heart. Not to impress them on your children. Give it to the next generation. Do you understand? Don't go to church alone. Don't serve God alone. Why should you leave the children to a thesis and Marxist lecturers and teachers to teach them on godly things? Talk about them when you sit at home with your children and when you walk along the road. When you are traveling with them, when you lie down, when you get up, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Now you carry yourself from wherever you are going and you listen to everything. You go to every side, porn site and everything. And you listen to all sorts of silly conversations and items, ungodly things being presented to you in pictures and in words and in audio. You say tie them symbols on your hands and bite them on your forehead write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates let the word of god let the word of god that demand that love the lord your god with all your heart soul and mind be closer to you than your cell phone let it be closer to you than the coat and the dress you are wearing than your undergarment itself do you understand that's why i say keep it in your heart Bind it in your heart. Let it enter into your mind. Let it enter into your inner man, your spirit man. Let the word of God dwell in your heart richly that you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Love. That's relationship. That's what God calls it. He first loved us. We didn't first love him, but we have to respond to his love. That's what that's the essence of our being on earth. That's the essence by which He created us and created the world. It's a love relationship. He loves us, He cares for us. In spite of our rebellious and sinful nature, He still loves us. That's why He made Christ to come to pay for the penalty of our sins and deliver us from condemnation and deliver us from death and destruction and deliver us from the lake of fire and brimstone and broke the hand of the devil off our lives and deliver us from every fear, every pandemic, every calamity that the enemy will bring along our path in the name of Jesus. That's what Jesus taught them to pray. That lead me not to temptation, but deliver him from evil the evil one devil the evil one it's not your friend friendship with the world is empty against god worship is due god alone say worship is due him alone worship is due him alone when we look secondly at the mediator god the son jesus christ john 14 6 acts 4 12 the first timothy 
chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. I read through quickly. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6, Acts 4, 12. It says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Acts 4, 12. First Timothy 2, 5, 6 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. For all people, all people. He purchased our freedom, whether male or female, Jew or Gentile, white or black, educated or illiterate. You as the intelligentsia and whatever you say, the rich, roughest and commonest, the rich and the poor, people in the, in the cities and people in rural areas. He ransomed our lives. He alone deserves to be worshipped. The God of the things, even of spiritual things, of natural things, of the powers of heaven and powers on earth. Remember, we have read in Daniel chapter 4, 35 previously, that he considers people of the earth as not, and he deals with the powers of heaven and the people of earth as he pleases. And no one can restrain his hand and ask him a question that, what are you doing? This world is under the control of God. It's not under the control of the powers that you are following. Those spirit entities you are following, they are already judged and condemned. Don't follow them. God loves you. They will never repent and they are already condemned. They go to the lake of fire and pray. So don't follow them there. Come out, the Bible says, and God will receive you as his people. Come out of them. Don't touch those unclean things. He will be a father to you. You will be his son and daughter. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Now, to conclude, another time we will concentrate on the person of Jesus Christ as an object of worship in the Christian church and not merely as a mediator between the Father and man. Today we have considered him as a mediator because we are concentrating on God as the creator. The point is that the next time we will consider is the church his does that the church belong to Jesus or that of the preachers and members will look at certain scriptures right now we behave as if the church belong to us the preachers and the likes that's why Revelation 3 20 the Bible says he was talking to one of the churches that he's standing at the door they were having church service but Jesus being the Lord being the founder of his church was standing outside the church building knocking for them to open and say, whoever hears his voice and shall open, he will come in, eat with you and eat with you. But we get involved in church activities and the like, and we are not worshipping Jesus, but we are worshipping ourselves. And we are there for money, we are there for fame and the likes. But from today, you have known that worship is due to the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, alone, and all visible and invisible things in heaven and on earth are supposed to ascribe honor and praise to him forever and ever, including you. Say, dear God, dear God, I've made terrible mistakes. I've made terrible mistakes. All my life. All my life. Satan has tricked me. Satan has tricked me. To follow after. To follow after. The glories of this world. The glories of this world. What are we? What are we? What are we? What are we? Where I lay my head. Where I lay my and head. And the flashy things. And the flashy things that he presents to me. That he presents to, to me. my five senses. To my five senses. And also. And also. He stokes up. He stokes up my ego. My ego. The pride of life. The pride of life. And because of pride of life. And because of pride of life. I'm not able. I'm not able to humble myself. To humble myself. And repent. And repent. And give up these things. And give up these to things. To follow you. To follow you. From today. From today. I repent. I repent. I give you my all. I give you my all. And consider. And consider. All these things. All these things. As nothing. As nothing. Compared to you. Compared to you. As a person. As a person. I seek you. I seek you. As a person. As a person. As my God. 
as my God. God of the things. God of the things. Not the things of God. Not the things of God. Not the things of the world. Not the things of the world. Come into my life. Come into my life. Protect and preserve me. Protect and preserve. Let me enjoy. Let me enjoy your Zoe. Your Zoe. Eternal life. Eternal life. And walk in victory. And walk in victory. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Deliver me. From every trappings from every trappings of Satan, of Satan, whether the last, whether the last of the eye, of the eye, or the last, or the last of the flesh, of the flesh, or the pride of life, or the pride of life. From today, from today, I want you to be my friend. I want you to be my friend. Let your love, let your love, your agape love, your agape love, fill my heart. Fill my heart. I will love you. That I will love you with all my heart, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my mind. That was all I do. And that's what's all right. And every gift. And every gift. Every talent. Every talent. And every marriage. And every marriage. Every child. Child. Every child. And every business. And every business. That you're giving me. That you're giving me. I present it to you. I present it to you. In service. In service. And worship. And worship. Of you. Of you. And my monies. And my monies. As well. As well. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Amen. That's what God wants for you. That's what God wants for you. As King Solomon said, that's what is the conclusion of the whole matter he said in Ecclesiastes. It will serve God and keep his commandment. Love him. He first loves you. I pray for you that from and for the enemy will not blind you in following after all his temptation in the three areas of the last of the earth, last of the flesh, and the pride of life that you give yourself wholly and you don't go to church just to be involved in church activities but you know the God of the church to follow after him you seek him all days of your life in your home in your workplace in your school you serve him when people reject him you will not I thank God for your life and I pray that he keeps you those who are giving your life to Christ right now. You follow the Bible every day, four things. Number two, you pray to God in the matchless name of Jesus. That's breathing in and breathing out. Then number three, attend good Bible-believing church, not an occulty church, not a church of falsehood, a Babylonian church, but church of reality, where Jesus is on it and him alone and the Bible. Then number four, Bring others to Christ. Tell them about the life you found in him. And those of you in Christ already, stand strong. We are winners. We are not victims. The people of the world, the people of Satan already defeated. Their master Satan defeated. All the demons that they worship in secret prayer are defeated. Shalom to you. Until then, may the joy of the Lord and the peace of God rest and abide with you. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, even now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our channel.